What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and in today's video I've got my FIFA 16 career mode transfer targets. Yes, I've seen a couple other YouTubers doing this in the run up to FIFA 16 so I thought I'd give my own transfer targets for my FIFA 16 career mode and of course that career mode which will be starting sometime this upcoming week is going to be with Watford. They won the poll, it was up for a week, it closed at 9am UK time this morning. Watford won the poll by a decent distance, thank you to everyone for voting in that poll, so many of you got involved thank you so much for all the votes if you didn't vote for Watford all I can do is say sorry but you can't really say fairer than letting you guys get the uh, the final vote but Watford was the team you chose and to be honest you know if you didn't want Watford you know I genuinely do believe that you shouldn't be worried because I think I can make this a really really good career mode I think this could be one of my best ones ever it should be really really good and uh, I'm looking forward to it but in this video I'm going to give you my transfer targets for FIFA 16 career mode now the gameplay you'll see will be uh, FIFA 15 the shortlist will be from FIFA 15 but even where of course these players um, will be my transfer targets for FIFA 16 career mode but just keep in mind that the players overalls and the attributes may change slightly for FIFA 16 as they may have been given upgrades or downgrades. Now what I'm going to do in this video is show you all of the players I've got listed in my shortlist as transfer targets for the FIFA 16 career mode and what I'm going to do for each player is give you a brief description as to why they are a transfer target, whether I'll be able to sign them or not, whether I think I'll be able to sign them or not and uh, of course how important they are to the squad and for what reason. So hopefully you really enjoyed this video and uh, let's get ourselves underway. Okay, so the first transfer target we have is Tim Krull of Newcastle United. Now, on FIFA 15, he was a 78-rated goalkeeper, 26 years old. Very, very, very solid goalkeeper. I really do rate Tim Krull in real life, and I think he'd be a really good signing for Watford. As you can see, the first targets are goalkeepers, and I think goalkeeper would be a good position for us to strengthen with Watford. Now, if you're a Watford fan, you're probably sitting there thinking, really? Gomez last season was fantastic, but Gomez in the game is 34 years old. I do believe he's 74 or 75 overall and of course he may end up decreasing in the first couple of seasons I think if we get a younger goalkeeper in to replace him right from the beginning who could possibly grow and get more potential then that would be beneficial so Krull is my number one transfer target for my FIFA 16 career but I think it'd be a really good signing failing that Jack Butland could be a decent option for us of course Stokes number one now after they sold Asmir Begovic to Chelsea in the summer transfer window I've had Jack Butland in numerous saves and he's always done quite well for me even if he hasn't grown he's still been a really good shot stopper now he's 72 overall in FIFA 15 but I'm pretty sure he's going to get an upgrade for FIFA 16. Either way he'd be a really good goalkeeper to come in and develop for the future. My third goalkeeper target is John Ruddy from the newly promoted Norwich. Now I've chose Ruddy because in my one season challenge series I used him for whole city and as I've said many times before the overall the player is important but what's more important is how you feel with the players. I have I don't think I've ever had as much confidence in a goalkeeper than I did with John Ruddy in that series. He was absolutely amazing. He seems to stop pretty much everything so yes his overall may not be as good as some goalkeepers but Ruddy you know I always had confidence in him and that's the most important thing so Ruddy is my third transfer target for the goalkeepers my fourth is Sergio Rico of Sevilla a young and up-and-coming Spanish goalkeeper wouldn't be a bad signing for us whatsoever if we were going to go looking in uh, uh, leagues across Europe Sergio Rico not bad at all six foot four only 20 years old in the FIFA 15's game and uh, some decent starting stats don't know what will be in FIFA 16 but could be a decent option for us and my fifth and final goalkeeper target is Timo Horn of FC Cologne in Germany. Very, very decent starting overall. Only 21 years old. And um, yeah, looks really, really decent. And I think he'd be a really good signing for Watford as well. So goalkeeper is probably going to be my number one target for FIFA 16 career mode of Watford. And all, any of these five players coming in would definitely benefit the side and be really, really good for us. Now, I'm not too sure that fullbacks will be a priority with us for Watford. I think they've got some decent fullbacks already. But if we do decide to try and sign a right back or a left back, Matt Target and John Flanagan of Southampton and Liverpool, respectively, of course, had Flanagan in my one season challenge series, could both be pretty decent options. I am almost certain that Target is going to get an upgrade for FIFA 16, 61 overall in FIFA 15. But, you know, let's be honest here, I'm pretty sure Target will get a decent upgrade for FIFA 16. And John Flanagan, of course, could be a really good choice because he can play both left back and right back. Both two good young English left backs here, 18 and 21 years old. Wouldn't mind signing either of those. We were going to go down the fullback option, but I'm not too sure I am going to look for a fullback this year. They're just in the shortlist, just in case. 
As for centre-backs, well, four decent choices here. Callum Chambers, who is, of course, listed as a right-back in view of 15. We know he can play centre-back as well. Wouldn't mind signing him. Of course, a very good young English prospect. A Corey from Aston Villa would be a very, very decent choice. Got to love those pacey centre-backs. He'd be a good sign to come in as well. Only 21 years old. Eric Dyer of Spurs. He wouldn't be a bad choice either. Of course, had him before in my Millwall save. Was very, very good indeed. Grew to a 90, I believe it was, before we uh, finished that save. Dyer, of course, can play full-back as well. Well, and I'm pretty sure holding midfield as well. So Dyer wouldn't be a bad choice either. Or possibly Terence Congolo of Feyenoord. Very, very decent young centre-back. Only 20 years old. Wouldn't be a bad option for us if we did go for a new centre-back. Now, another position I'll definitely be considering strengthening with Watford is the wingers. Now, obviously, Watford, depending on what formation we play, I think we could possibly utilise the wide areas of the pitch quite usefully if we make some good signings. And I think Andros Townsend will be a really good signing for us. We play him down the right side to cut him onto his left foot. I think Towns will be a really, really good signing for us. Of course, 23 going on 24 years old now, I do believe, Townsend. But very, very decent can play on both sides of the wings. Got a decent uh, decent shot on him as well. Wouldn't be a bad signing for us, Andros Townsend. Failing that, possibly Nathan Redmond from Norwich City, of course, who were promoting alongside Watford and Bournemouth from the championship last season. Redmond, 20 years old, very, very decent pace, nice four-star skills as well, which I'm sure will keep Fever 16 as well. Can play on both sides of the wings, just like Townsend. Wouldn't be a bad choice whatsoever if we could afford him in the first season. Also, Damari Gray, the teenager from Birmingham, wouldn't mind getting hold of this guy either. Was considering signing him in, in my one-season challenge series, never did so. But Damari Gray, I think, was going to grow very, very nicely in FIFA 16 career mode. I think he'd be a really, really good choice. Can play on the wing and through the middle as well. Gray wouldn't be a bad choice for a player to develop for the future, as well as trying to expose him for some game time in the first season too. And also potentially two players I've used before in FIFA 15 career mode. Jordan Ibo I had in my one season challenge series for Queen's Park Rangers. Very, very decent young winger. Of course, came from Wickham before Liverpool. Very decent indeed. I'm pretty sure he could play on both sides of the wing and of course through the middle as well. Jordan I wouldn't mind signing him at all. And also Cater, who I had in my PSG save and also in my club and country save. But I didn't use him much in that save. Cater, a very, very decent young winger. Would love to get hold of him in the first season. He could definitely come in, develop for the future as well as being exposed to first team football in the first season too. Can play on both sides of the wing. Pretty sure he can also play up top as well. Four star skills and weak foot. If he retains those FIFA 16, it'll look very, very good indeed. He wouldn't be a bad signing in the first summer transfer window at all. And I'm not really too fussed about the central midfield area for Watford. I think they've got some decent players in that area already with signings coming in like Barami, for example. Don't really think we have to get a good central midfielder in the first season, but possibly if we do look for one with good potential for the future, I think Ruben Loftus-Cheek could be a good signing for us. Now, I know he's 58 overall in FIFA 15, but if he hasn't got an upgrade for FIFA 16, then I don't know what I'll do, seriously. Loftus-Cheek played against uh, Maccabee Tel Aviv in the, uh, in the week uh, for, in the Champions League for Chelsea. Thought he played very, very well indeed. He has a very, very good young talent in English football. I think Loftus-Cheek, if we were to be able to sign him from Chelsea in the first season on a permanent deal, I would not be against throwing him into the first 11 straight away and just trying to maximise this guy's potential. I think he has the potential to get really, really good, both in the game and in real life as well. So if we could possibly pull it off and sign Loftus-Cheek from Chelsea in the first summer transfer window, I'd get him straight in the first team and get him developing straight away. And as for strikers, well, they've got Troy Deeney, who I really do rate. And of course, they've got a Nigerian striker who just scored twice against Newcastle today to beat them 2-1, who's doing pretty well at the start of the season too. So don't think we really need to look for a striker. But if we do go in for a main man up top, then possibly Bertrand Traore wouldn't be a bad choice of Chelsea, of course, listed as a test player in FIFA 15. He can also play on the wings as well and four-star skill moves. Very, very nice indeed. Traore wouldn't be a bad signing at all. Failing that, maybe Origi from uh, Liverpool, of course, listed as uh, a player for Lille in the game few 15 but of course the Liverpool player wouldn't be a bad choice just like Traore can also play on the wing and of course up top either of these players coming in for Watford they may be expensive they may be hard to get in the first season but could possibly do pretty well if they partner Troy Deeney up top depending on what formation I play and what players I pick either of those two signings they're not priorities for me but maybe just maybe we get hold of them and they could bang in the goals right from the first season and that ends my list of transfer targets for my FIFA 16 career mode which will of course be starting during the week sometime I'm very very 
very hopeful I get the first episode up on Tuesday. Failing that, we may have to wait until Thursday, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Regardless, really, really excited to get started with the FIFA 16 career mode. Hopefully, I can make it a good one for you, starting with Watford. And if you have any transfer targets for me whatsoever, anyone you think could be a really good signing for Watford who I've missed out in the shortlist, then drop them in the comments right now. You know, leave me a comment. Tell me who you think could be a really good signing for Watford. Tell me how much you think they might be worth and how much they will be worth for the team, not their fina uh, not their financial value, but uh, how much they could uh, provide for the team. Let me know in the comments if you have any transfer targets for Watford. Would love to hear your suggestions. So feel free to give me any suggestions that you may have. But thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do leave a like. I am so, so excited to start my FIFA 16 career mode. The first episode will be going up sometime this week, hopefully Tuesday, failing that Thursday. But thank you for watching this video. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Any suggestions for transfer targets, leave them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you for the first episode of my FIFA 16 career mode very soon.